Hello, welcome to another video from sickmaths.co.uk where you can find the whole of GCSE Maths explained on video all for free as well as other stuff like some amazing revision guides and stuff. Uh, this video is about algebraic fractions and uh, you will notice here it says this is all higher GCSE and why have I got it in the foundation section of my sick maths website because I wanted this topic to be right next to the previous topic which was normal fractions okay because as soon as you know normal fractions you should be able to do this fairly easily right so assuming you know to do normal fractions we'll carry on if you've got 1 over x plus 2 over x it equals 3 over x because you've got a common denominator that, mean you can do, that means you can just simply add the tops okay now over here we don't have a common denominator we've got a 3 and a 6 so this can be doubled to make 6 so if I double the bottom I should double the top so I get uh, 4y over 6 and then this stays the same as that add them together you get 5y over 6 um, this is just to demonstrate that you know just like in normal fractions adding and taking away are basically the same thing so 3 over m take away 2 over m is 1 over m because you've got a common denominator already 3 take away 2 is 1 um, now we've got a more complex denominator this is quite a common thing to do actually uh, this this cannot go into that and that cannot go into that just like before what we managed to do is double one of them or something and make it like the other denominator but this time we can't do that so that means if you can't make one go into the other then you have to just multiply the denominators by them by each other okay which basically means I have to times this one this denominator by x and that denominator by x minus one Okay, now if I'm timesing this denominator by x, that means I have to times the top by x. So you get 2x over x times x minus 1. And this one, because I'm timesing the bottom by x minus 1, I have to times the top by x minus 1. So you get that. And you can actually write it as one fraction 2x minus 3x. Oh, I've actually multiplied this out. Okay, so this multiplies to minus 3x plus 3 so when I put these fractions together I get 2x minus 3x plus 3 like you say here like it says here anyway um, so and you got that to same denominator simplifying it gives you well, 2x minus 3x is minus x and you got the 3 remaining and the same denominator okay because it's simplifying all we're doing is simplifying the top uh, multiplying fractions are not complicated a times y is a y x times d is x d you know how to multiply fractions if you already know how to do normal fractions so uh, yeah multiplying fraction works like this times the tops together times the bottoms together um, dividing uh, dividing means just flip the second fraction and turn it into a times turn the divide into a times and do that Okay, now I've got a more complicated version of this here uh, because I can cancel a little bit. The y's cancel, the x squared cancels x cubed, that power is higher than that, so it overcomes this and you've just got x on the bottom. Yeah, so um, yeah, all the x squareds have been cancelled completely and you got an x remaining there and that's it really. Okay, let's quickly simplify um, fractions. This is such a common thing. And uh, what a, not a common thing, sorry. What I mean by the technique to do this is pretty much the same every single time. Basically, you know, even before you start this question, if they say simplify an algebraic fraction, you know you have to factorise the top and bottom or at least factor, factorise whatever you can. So these two can both definitely be factorised, isn't it? This is a quadratic, and that's a difference of two squares. So that's going to be like that, and uh, that's going to factorise like that. And you know that the brackets, so there's something that's going to cancel, okay? That's going to cancel with that. You're remain do you, you're left with this and this and you don't need the brackets anymore so you just write x plus 1 over x plus 5 you don't need the brackets anymore because it's not timesing by anything before it was, you, you needed the brackets to say all of this times up but there's only all of that left so you just do that and that's it 